Mommy's hungry. Yeah, yeah mommy's, mommy's home. Hello, dear. I'm so glad you're home. While you were away, I tried to do the laundry. Your favorite shirt, Adam Kenneth Handelman. When will you learn? <laughs> <laughs> I did everything Dad said. Uh, I should have known Peter had something to do with this. You're not the first person whose life he screwed up. Knock, knock. Nicole, Ronald, who's ready for Boggle? Oh, my God. No. Why? Why? My beautiful Nicole. My man Ronald, who did this? Oh, man, they were so good together. We were just establishing our friendship. They were about to get engaged. Oh, he was going to ask me to be an usher. I mean, he already had enough groomsmen, so he made me an usher. But just to think I could be involved in the ceremony in any way. And you'll be cooler than a mid-80s novelty answering machine message. I'm glad you called, but I'm not home. But I'll be back before too long. You gotta wait for the beep. You gotta leave your name. You gotta leave your number. Wait for the beep. It's me again. I just had to hear it one more time. Sir, we've got a man down. Oh my god, Adrian Beaky, say something! Shoot me. Oh god, this is my fault. I did this. I've screwed up worse than Disney did when they cast Michael J. Fox in that Zorro remake. Who was that masked man who saved us? I don't know, but he left his insignia. After we've had our fill of bread and wine, we shall tell tales of other times we had our fill of bread and wine. God, this is a more disturbing sight than Tom Hanks and E.T. in Philadelphia. Ouch. There you go, you're good. You didn't touch me. I don't want to get AIDS. After we've had our fill of bread and wine, we shall tell tales of other times we had our fill of bread and wine. God, this is a more disturbing sight than Tom Hanks and E.T. in Philadelphia. Ouch. There you go, you're good. You didn't touch me. I don't want to get AIDS. Can I come in there with you? There's light in there. No, go away. Can I please come in? You have juice and I want to sit in it. Chew, get lost. Hi, Dad. Oh, Chris, close the door. There's oh, a... Oh, it's much nicer in here. I'm going to float around for a while, then stick my needle in your shoulder fat while you sleep. Okay, your physical exam was within range. You aced the flight simulator. I guess all that's left is the psychological screening. Okay. How do you feel about this? Ah, oh my god, Cocoa Puffs. No, that's not me anymore. I'm just here to fly, sir. Hey, Dylan. Hey, come on in here for a sec. Stewie, why are you nude? Oh, just a little something I do once a week around here called a naked tea party. Got my teacup here. Now all I need is a tea bag. That's something that interests you, my friend? You're weird. Yeah, and you're attractive. Now take your fucking pants off! I'm out of here. <sighs> Did you see that, Rupert? How to lose a guy in ten seconds starring Stewie Griffin, huh? Gee whiz. Yeah, you wouldn't believe what he did to Meg yesterday. He made her watch the other 178 hours of Monty Python stuff that isn't funny or memorable. I have a pet hedgehog named Zippy, and I shall walk her to town. And each time my foot hits the ground, I shall say boing, boing, boing. I'm a girl! I don't even like the good Monty Python sketches. It was awful. That kid was a complete thug. I'm telling you, I couldn't get out of there fast enough. Boy, Brian, you dodged a bullet not having to raise that kid. Your life would have been more miserable than a lonely old widow living in a downstairs apartment. Achoo! Quiet! Keep it down up here! <sighs> what did I just say? I'm calling the police! Goodbye, Tin Man. Goodbye, Dorothy. Goodbye, Lion. Goodbye, Dorothy. And I think I'll miss you most of all, Scarecrow. Oh, okay. It's kind of an odd thing to say. Yeah, sort of a weird comment right in front of all of us. Kind of yeah. thought this was a team effort. Yeah, yeah. Really, really glad I risked my life and everything. Yeah, it's... you're like five minutes from gone and you leave with that. Yeah. You know, that's like cutting a huge fart and then walking out of the room. And that's how we'll remember you. As a big fart. Goodbye, big fart. Who's that? That's Jared's mom. Her husband died in Iraq. Really? No, wait, he was either wounded or killed. I don't remember. Well, which is it, Stewie? Wounded or killed? I can work with either. No, no, he's dead. He's dead. Just like the Pink Panther. 
What's wrong with him, Doctor? Well, it seems his lungs are completely filled with Owen's Corning fiberglass insulation. What? Will he be okay? No, he won't be okay. One third of his body weight is Owen's Corning fiberglass insulation. Well, that's it. But don't worry, he won't burn in hell, thanks to all that Owen's Corning fiberglass insulation. My son's birthday party is next weekend. Any chance I can hire you to do your act? Absolutely. I think the magic's starting to happen already. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, this is painful. It's like listening to those two foreign guys down at the coffee shop who've been living in the U.S. almost long enough to sound American. Oh, man. What a good bunch of partying at that discotheque. They played one of my audience requests. Way awesome. I myself drank like five liters of beer. Any more and I would have ended up in hospital, man. Oh, you said it, friend. But I wanted to stay, because I almost had sex on this girl. Oh, yeah, but it was so expensive. Each drink was like six dollars forty. Well, I suppose I could look her up. I just wonder if she'd even want to see me. I wasn't exactly the nicest guy in the world. And then, in high school, I was violated sexually by my father. It happened on numerous occasions, and I was too afraid to tell anyone because I felt like, somehow, it was my fault. So, you do go all the way. Well, I am still a little shaky on some of this stuff. I guess I could use the help. Great, and we'll get you a wand, a top hat, and a cape. In fact, you can use Peter's cape from last year's Halloween costume. Hi, Brian. I'm Count Crotchula, the bulging vampire. I'll bite your neck, but also look how big I am down there. That costume doesn't make any sense. Don't stifle my creativity! See that bulge down there, Brian? What is it? What is it? Can't be my pointy teeth, because those are all the way up here. I'll let you in on a little secret. Happy Halloween. Hey, Stewie, you ready to go home? About an hour ago. This party sucks. What happened to your face? I'm a kitty cat. Stupid face painters apparently never heard of Darth Maul. This party's worse than a Mexican funeral. Es con mucho dolor que digamos adiós a Javier, y Pepe, y Carlos, y Lupe, y otra Lupe, Salvador, Fabián, Jesús, María, Vincente, y los perros de Vincente. Let's get out of here, Brian. That birthday party Spider-Man is eyeing me. Hmm, don't let me catch you, because I'll just wrap you up and eat you later. <laughs> I did a bad thing, and I don't know what to do about it. I, I, f I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, that's how I felt at that Grateful Dead show. Does anybody want to buy my shirt? I'll trade you my shirt for a grilled cheese. Great, but can we do it after five? There's a ball game on. Oh, well then maybe Brian and I can hang out. Do you mind, Brian? No, not at all. Good. Now, can you move, please? You're blocking the screen. We now return to Damn Nature, You Scary on BET. Damn, that motherfucker run fast. You see that shit? That thing come by my house, I kill it. <laughs> that little rat-looking thing just got ate. Damn, Nature, You Scary. Y'all know what day it is? No. It's bath day. Oh, I don't want to take a bath. <laughs> Not for you, silly. It's bath day for me, but I can't wash myself. Know anybody with a pair of strong young hands to help me in and out of the tub? Oh, rats! You had an opportunity to share a beautiful moment with Brian, and you wasted it. Wasted it like the Osmond family wastes water. Who's in the shower? Is it Donnie? No, I showered earlier. It could be Meryl. Meryl's right here. Well, where's Jimmy? Jimmy's running through the sprinklers in the yard. Is it Marie? No, no one's in there. So, the shower is just running with no one in there? That's right. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. Ah, uh, this is so wonderfully peaceful. Yeah, it really is another world out here. And just so quiet. <laughs> I'm half shark and half Peter. Don't come near me. I will eat you. <laughs> Peter, will you knock that off? It's getting annoying. All right, fine. I'm going to go scare some people. <sighs> Nobody will buy it. There are no sharks out here. Lots of people swimming up there. I could pig out if I wanted to, but I'm watching my weight because I don't want to spend the 4th of July alone again. Plus, I ate a dog yesterday, and now I got a bone stuck in my anus. You know, this resort offers some wonderful amenities. They have bird watching, wine tasting, horseback riding. Yeah, they also have stork startling. 
Squawkity, 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 squawkity! <laughs> Your bird intelligence is no match for my people intelligence. Over a thousand people entered the contest, and they chose mine. Well, that's wonderful, Brian. Yeah, that's a great achievement. Just like the first chemotherapy patient to figure out the handkerchief look. Honey, get in here. What is it? Just, just get in here. What? Oh, my God. Right? It's like you don't, don't even, even have, have cancer. cancer. I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, but I still have pretty aggressive cancer. I know. How fast can you do it? As fast as Spider-Man when he gets laid. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. It, that's never happened to me before. It's just you're so attractive, and it's been a while. I'm going to go. You know, some people say that's good for your hair. Yeah, thanks. Not like the fake thrill of running into your ex-girlfriend on the street. Rob? Hey! Hey, how are you? God, it's good to see you. Good to see you, too. How's my dog? I'm, I'm sorry, your dog. Oh, oh, I, I had to give him away. Gave him away! Well, Dave's allergic. Dave! All right, so there's a Dave. That's great. God, Dave sounds great. Yeah, he is. And his parents are so sweet. Oh, met his parents and they're sweet. Just older Daves, huh? <laughs> what a family. God, it's good to see you. Peter, he's been here for four hours. I told him to leave, but he keeps saying he lives here. I say, this is more uncomfortable than having James Brady at a cocktail party. All right, so I got my handgun, and I'm just randomly firing it into a crowd of people, and then... And then what? Uh, nothing. Nothing. No, no, I'm anxious to hear the conclusion of your story. That's stupid. Stupid story. Wait, look at this. He eats at House of Chung every day. House of Chung, eh? Come on, let's go, Brian. I'm gonna get revenge, just like I did against that pigeon that crapped on my car. Ah! That's right. Get it nice and clean. So, Peter, any luck finding your wallet? No, and it's getting to be a pain in the ass. I got no money. I couldn't even afford to get my hair cut yesterday. That'll be five dollars. Sorry, lost my wallet. But I already cut your hair. Ah, uh, well, guess there's nothing you can do about it now. That son of a bitch.